Welcome back to another edition of Philip's uh, Fails with Smoking Cigarette. And let's go over his month. Taking the world's problems out on a glorious Sunday. And today is too many Bible fans going and there is in hell and hidden fire. And uh, the day the liquor stores never open until noon. Not a problem of mine anymore, but, you know, years of them going in the bar and liquor stores are kind of boring for me. So. I had one of those nights where I went to bed early because I ate early, and uh, yeah, I actually kept the food down and everything else. It was nice. And I, uh, you know, fell asleep. Once I finally got to sleep, I was having a hard time. And I ended up rolling over about 2 o'clock this morning, and I elbow checked the wall. And it was loud enough. Apparently, it woke the next one up and come running in there to see if it fell down. Sitting there rubbing my elbow like fucking boo boo ow. Surprised it didn't put a hole in the wall. I didn't do it on purpose. It's one of them things you roll over or something and you misgauge your elbow distances. You know, it is what it is. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I've been sitting around the house today and uh, one of the house mates is off on an adventure and I say I'm with my car to go get my liquor pack from Snow's because I'm out. I got two left after this and uh, me running out of cigarettes isn't fun. So the Annie Hoosier, uh, I've been watching this uh, Nuthouse v. Bonnie incident, and uh, one party, well, I assume Bonnie here, is uh, cucking to the military and how much God's will here on Earth and everything else, and uh, the Nuthouse is taking an oxygen stance, and I'm going to weigh in on it, but uh, before I do that, uh, happy birthday, Maroon, uh, especially Shad. Uh, if you don't know who Shad is, check him out. His uh, puppy, Charity, is uh, probably not going to be here much longer, so he can use some love and support. Uh, he does the everyday mother cigarette thing, and you know, he mentions me at the end there, and that's pretty fucking cool. I'll watch him, though. Because yeah. everyday mother cigarette, why not? But I've known Shad for years, and he's a family guy, man, and Charity's like his best friend in the world. <clears throat> but anyway. Now, this is one of those videos that's going to piss off all you bats of blue and support the troops kind of people up because, uh, if you notice, I'm not real big on uh, moral panics. I'm not real big on uh, taking moral high ground and, uh, you know, uh, using church to enforce state, state to enforce church, right? I, I believe the beast is too fucking. Now, if you don't like it, tough shit. Have your own opinions. That's what the comment section's for. But, there's two purposes for the military. One is to enforce the legislative branch's will upon the rest of the world and upon its own people. And it's for the defense of the nation. Now, in practice, Nuthouse brought up interesting uh, enough last night when I was texting back and forth with him in the comment section. Why didn't they help the people in North Carolina? Well, see, their their defense of the nation has nothing to do with defending the people of the nation. It has to do with the continuity of government, all right? So, I grew up in that magical time. Uh, you might know something called the Gulf War, right? I was a Gulf War baby. Uh, in fact, the Berlin Wall fell when I was six months old. So, that, that gives you some indication of how not very old I am. And in my life, I've seen various conflicts like Desert Storm, uh, the bullshit in Kosovo, and uh, a lot of the Balkan wars. Uh, those were CNN wars, and I followed that stuff around. And then there was that second incident in Turkey, right? And there was 9-11, and the 20 years of war in the Middle East, uh, which is why we invaded Iraq for no fucking reason. Uh, Afghanistan, kind of, yeah, I can see why to some degree, but we ultimately ended up in endless blood in exchange for oil and opioids, right? That's just the way it is. And now, when I was a kid growing up, they just decided, ooh, ooh, we gotta, we gotta invade them. We gotta get them terrorizers. They got us. We gotta get them back. Well, I didn't fall into that. And, uh, you know, they used that bullshit to pass the Patriot Act and several other unconstitutional things, which I was against from day one, even though I was like 12, 13, when that happened. <coughs> and uh, others were like, fucking, yeah, let's do this, and now they're like against it. Well, 
basically what happens is, is they use something called a moral panic to demonize a group of people, in this case the culti and the whole Islam thing. I'm not against Islam, it's just not my flavor. Uh, I'm really not for Judaism, and that definitely isn't my flavor for ideological reasons, and I'm not getting into that right now, I'll get into that in a minute, I bet. But I'm sure the more astute among you can figure out why. <coughs> Last few today. So, what a nation's military in practice is for is to defend its nation from threats, both foreign and domestic, right? And it's to enforce the will of the nation on the rest of the world. That's the way it's been. Now, all of you say, oh, the military does some sort of fire on us. Unless you, unless you strike the bill from Congress or you're, you're some fucking tool of the state, you're going to be left high and dry like the rest of the day. And they want to abolish the Second Amendment. And I'm going to tell you why. They do not wish us to be free and live free and die free. They wish us to do what they say. Now, it's pretty hard to make somebody, a broken population, break without taking away the Second Amendment because you get a bunch of disgruntled people that are armed together. You don't want to go piss them off. You want to you want to take away their guns and then poke them both, which is what they do. Now our country, uh, through through Biden and his infinite dictatorship, has uh, basically decided, well, we're going to sign this UN disarmament small arms treaty bullshit. And, you know, they say, oh, it's not going to affect you, but yeah, it is. Like, yeah, it is. They're, they're going to do everything in their power to disarm you and make you a weak fucking fat nation. Now. There are three countries on planet Earth that have firearms in any amount. Number one is the United States. Number two is Canada. Number three is Australia. We know what happened in Canada and Australia. There are two nations on planet Earth with Second Amendment. And that is the United States and also, <clears throat> uh, I believe it would be uh, not Serbia, it is uh, Slovenia. So, basically the plan is to disarm us to, and then break us and make us slaves. And we've seen it happen time and time again. But a lot of the super religious and the ultra right-wing conservative fucks that I get into it online with, I call them Bible hands. They're like, well, self-defense is wrong. No, 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 no. It's God's will that if you die, that, that, that if somebody else kills you, that then you're in the service of God and go to heaven. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but it comes down to personal choice, pal. If somebody comes at me sideways, violence is on the table, and I'm pretty good at violence. And unfortunately for them, I don't have any feelings of remorse or sadness or, or kindness or compassion in there at all. Like, if you come at me sideways, you're going to end up getting your neck wet. Like, it's just you know, part of life. But they say, oh, well, in the Bible, it's Jesus that, that carry a sword and whatnot. And, and some people will flip that around, but like, yeah, but they healed uh, the guy that Peter cut the ear off of. And, and, and the thing is, is, you don't need a holy book to tell you if you can and cannot do it. It's a good suggestion. It's a moral compass for life. But at the end of the day, if you are relying on a book that allows subserviency and, uh, total control, right, in regards to your self-defense, you're not defending yourself. Now, I, some people will argue, well, the Bible says thou shalt not murder. Well, murder is different than thou shalt not kill. But even still, that book is full of genocide, man. Like the whole entire Old Testament, like the Israelites are killing everybody. You know, a, a sad fact of nature. So... A lot of these people that take this moral turkey high ground, the military is here and they're God's will here on earth. No, they're just fake shit. Sorry, you're wrong. And a lot of people say, oh, I'd never take up arms against somebody else. Oh, that's, that's all sweet and dandy and whatnot. But, you know, like you don't get to choose for the rest of us. That's the thing we have called free will. Of course, the death is in hell. I don't know why. You probably can tell I'm upset because the Second Amendment is my favorite activity in the world. But... You know, at the end of the day, uh, people on the extreme right and the extreme left are the same. 
the one are completely against one idea for the same reason that we're for it, and vice versa. So, like, there's zealots all around the board, but you're you're seeing a lot more of these Bible zealots now. There were extreme right Bible zealots. But when I was a kid, the Second Amendment was being being dismantled by the church in a lot of regards because a lot of its church members were voting with the NRA for the idea, well, guns aren't for self-defense, they're for hunting and fishing. Well, that's not true. The Second Amendment is here for overthrowing tyrannical governments and any other lawful purposes aside from that. And a lot of people in the Bible will say, well, you, 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 well man's law, you know, it, it's recognized by God. Yeah, that's fine until he passes some fucking law that denies you your right to do whatever, and then all of a sudden you get offended by it. So think to yourself, uh, don't listen to a bunch of pissed off liberals and don't listen to a bunch of pissed off Bible closers. Do your own fucking homework. But anything that is against your divine right to defend your life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is null and void, as far as I'm concerned. But at the end of the day, you're going to be listening to a bunch of deranged fucking Bible terms geek it out on the internet. And I'm not picking on the nut house, by the way. His, his beliefs are his own. Uh, <clears throat> I'm picking on a lot of the people in the chat, though, that are like super fucking churchy and preachy, man. Uh, you have a, what's called a pretentious bunch of cannabis smokers that uh, more or less uh, decide, well, I'm right and you're wrong because I can misquote things that you use in your Bible and take it out of context. And that's not helping anybody. Like, if you want to have a dialogue with somebody, you know, hear their side of it. And they'll hear your side of it. And eventually you'll agree to disagree on shit instead of just uh, duking it out. And there's another class of people that Nuthouse and I uh, specifically hate for different reasons, similar. They're called keyboard commandos. They're like, oh, pick up arms against the government. Like, yeah, you and like a million of your friends. The problem is you ain't got a million friends. And uh, if you people can't agree on what day the Sabbath day is, you know, I'm speaking to the Bible community, you know, whether it's Friday night, Saturday morning, or from Saturday night to Sunday morning, or whatever, you sure as hell ain't going to fucking agree when it comes time to shed blood. So, like, check your fucking egos, dude. Like, you know, be a freedom fighter in all forms of weather. You can't just be a fair weather freedom fighter. But yeah, uh, that's my Sunday rampus. Uh, I'm sure I've made lots of people mad. But uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you don't, you don't. You can let go. And uh, word of the day is, uh, let's see, cider because I smashed one and it went flat, flat with my finger.